not necessary that always we are going to destroy only. But uh, whatever the destructions we have to discuss. For our interaction, our early life was something different. When we were living like ancient man, somewhere 10,000 or 15,000 years ago, at that time our technology was not that advanced to damage our environment. We were using fire, but not that to extent that the environment is damaged because of our use of that fire. But after a certain period, and most important thing, after industrial revolution, we start using tremendous energy. As a result, use of energy increased and the pollution generated from that, that also started increasing though, affecting uh, not only pollution but several factors responsible for this uh, energy gaining. Several factors are there, they are responsible for degradation of this environment. And therefore, we are focusing on first on energy topic that is used. Now, in order to get energy, the simple thing I should explain here that plants are sources of energy. You are aware that uh, carbon dioxide, which is now we are calling as pollutant in atmosphere, but uh, it is really required for our life. So carbon dioxide that is combining with water in presence of sunlight and chemical that is called as chlorophyll we are getting a simple compound that is simple sugar that is C6H12O6 plus oxygen is released in this process. Now whatever sunlight we are calling, this is actually energy. So mark here important thing, this reaction is no, not at all balanced reaction because instead of that number I should prefer that keep in mind the name of compounds in this part. So carbon dioxide that is combining with water and uh, in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to get C6H12O6 that is called as simple sugar or uh, usually we are calling this as glucose plus water uh, plus oxygen molecule is released. In childhood we were thinking like that plants are absorbing carbon dioxide and releasing out oxygen but keep in mind this oxygen is not released out from carbon dioxide this oxygen is released out from water molecule try to recollect Hill's process in photosynthesis part or rather I should uh, recommend here that go through this uh, part of photosynthesis you will get that uh, water molecule is obtained from uh, sorry uh, oxygen is obtained from water molecule and by a knowledge of radioactivity by using radioactive water containing oxygen as radioactive element it is proved that water is undergoing dissociation and we are getting splitting of water and oxygen molecules are released out from water here. Now this is very very basic reaction. Whatever the glucose or C6H12O6 is formed that is converted into different forms of chemical. Maybe that is protein, lipid, then other carbohydrates, fats, whatever the thing. But that is converted in the plant body and this way these compounds are used. Now, uh, for burning process, we have this C6H12O6 plus oxygen. If it is aerobic respiration, in case of anaerobic respiration, you are aware that oxygen is absent. In presence of certain enzymes, we are getting carbon dioxide plus water. So, in this process, water is again released back. This is respiration process. I am showing here aerobic respiration process. 
So in this process, carbon dioxide is released out again and water. Now this is just given in a shortcut. Uh, for detail, go to biology lectures, respiration also, you will get idea. Now this is the way we are discussing about photosynthesis that is trapping of energy, respiration, releasing of energy. This is the basic requirement of energy and many animals and plants they are getting this energy. If uh, aerobic respiration is there then this way. In case of anaerobic respiration, this glucose, whatever the sugar or glucose part that is converted into either C2H5OH that is ethyl alcohol, CH3COOH that is acetic acid or in some time lactic acid or whatever depending upon type of sugar suppose lactose sugar is there then lactose sugar is converted into lactic acid then ordinary sugar is there then glucose is there it is converted into acetic acid so like that products are formed these molecules are also energy rich molecules because the entire energy is not released this is only one step energy release anyway so this is the way energy is produced in human body or animal body but uh, we required external energy also. Now in old days, I don't know when, but we are saying that millions years ago, tremendous changes happened on the surface of earth. May be possible that is mentioned in our scriptures. That is called as Yuganto. Yuga. Sanskrit word that is meaning era. But uh, it is said that whatever there was on land that was buried inside land and whatever there under the soil that comes out. This incident happened millions of years ago. Wherever on earth these incidences occur, there are now comparatively rich sources of this biomass whatever is buried inside, they are observed. Huge trees and animals, they are converted into carbon-rich compound or carbon-rich uh, part that is called as coal. If you are aware that under the soil, under the ground, there is high temperature as well as very high pressure. And because of that, high pressure and high temperature the mass is converted into coal then microorganisms or whatever that living beings were there they are converted into natural gas as well as petrol we are calling that as petroleum petra stands for rock oleum stands for oil the oil that is obtained from rock like that we got the trap of energy, the energy rich molecule that is there inside the ground. On discovery of this, we started removing out that farm soil. Coal is used by many nations today also. That is obtained from obviously richest sources are there inside the ground. No doubt we are making also charcoal, but coal is widely used. Apart from coal, we are aware petroleum is also widely used. Uh, that whatever the fuel that is containing carbon, say for example, we are talking of carbon or coal. The coal is having active ingredient as carbon that is combining, burning means combining. To get carbon dioxide plus energy is released out from that. You are aware then biogas. Biogas contains different alkanes ranging from C4, uh, C1, H4 that is methane, then C2, C3, C4 like that. 
So I am saying here C4H10. This is butane plus isobutane. Whatever that, they are combining with oxygen to give carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. And that is what reaction but not balancing out. Again, remember, in case of petrol, we are calling carbon 8 compounds as petrol. So C8. H18. That is also going in same way, giving carbon dioxide plus water plus energy. So what are the things? These all fuels they are having active constituent that is carbon, and by burning out this carbon, we obtain oxygen. Uh, that uh, carbon dioxide and energy is released from that. This energy is utilized by ourselves for various purposes. Now this is all biomass that we are going to discuss here. Now we have energy resources. Out of that we are going to non-renewable energy resources.